It's enough to make your blood run cold. Beget Horeb, and Horeb beget Abimelech, and Abimelech beget Rutabega, and Rutabega said, Hello, is this thing on? But seriously, folks, you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs, or kebab, or maybe a nice couscous, or a nectarine. Such a fruit, half a peach, half a plum. For a moment there, he was almost making sense. You'd best hope he doesn't. The last time he did, he tried to kill you. Yes, better that he talks to the penguins. What's Raptor doing? I shudder to guess. You can't do this to me! I just did it, son, and you can have this nasty thing as well. But, but, but I'm Raptor! Lord Raptor! I'm a showbiz legend! Legend? <laughs> You're a rumor, a mumble, a bad case of indigestion. You're so awful. You're so awful that we're, we're giving up rock and roll. From now on, we play nothing but country and western because it's, a, it's the only way to guarantee that we're not going to run into you again. Hmm. Obviously, they're jealous of my genius. Welcome back to the world of the weird. I'm your host, Lily LeMay, and we're chatting with my guest, Dmitry Maximoff, who is a vampire, and Morgan Anslade, a succubus. <laughs> and we're talking about evil. Yes, evil, my favorite subject. Oh, not that you knew anything about it. I know more about evil than you can imagine. Oh, he read a book once, folks. While you, you pathetic dabbler. Fat faced fool! <laughs> Take that! Daughter of rats! Marvelous! What else can go wrong? Oh, it would be so much easier if they hadn't discovered television. Greetings, little brother. No! You! What are you doing here? Why, to see how you're doing, little brother. To check on your progress, just like old times. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. What do you mean, your clock stopped? I've been very busy. What with having to repair the ship every time your little pals wreck it, I forgot to wind the clock, so sue me. And another thing, it disturbs me that you've picked up so much Earth slang. I monitor their communications. That's not the problem. The problem is your overachieving brother, Terramon. He's more powerful than you, isn't he? Ah! Now that you've got that off your chest, you're still going to need help. Get those fools up here! Once Moses when the lights went out! In the dark. Hello, Anna Karis. Get her out of here! Sorry. I might as well have sent Anakeris. He couldn't have done any more damage. Lord Raptor incoming. In the hell? I was fighting. Well, in what? Why are we here? We have a crisis. My older brother will be here in a few hours to inspect this miserable planet. He's head of the family and feels that he needs to keep tabs on me. When he finds out how little I've accomplished, things are going to become very unpleasant for everyone. What do you mean? I will be sent home in disgrace, and you will be cleaning toilets for my brother. What? A prince of evil cleaning toilets? Never! On with you, mate! I say, take him on! He is far more powerful than I am. Quiet! There is a way out of this, but you won't like it. We need the help of Felicia, Harry, and the renegades. What? Why? To convince your brother that you're succeeding, that you're doing fine. That you're someone else. Easy. 
I won't hurt you. There, there. Touching. Could I get you to pull a thorn out of me paw, big boy? Calm down! I only want to talk to you. Harry, you should come out. You're missing a beautiful day. Yeah, right. Oh, this is the toughest turn paper I've ever had to do. <clears throat> What's your right? A killer monster turn paper. And it's done. All I have to do is save it and... What? No, my turn paper! Harry, Felicia, I need to see you. What? What have you done with my turn paper? Harry, please. I worked for two weeks on that paper. Harry, I have your paper. I'll give it back if you just listen to me. You play rough. I'm not proud of it, but it gets the job done. Why should I believe a word you say? I don't like it either, but... All right, you talk to him. Rico, it's true. We need your help. <sighs> Very well, Dimitri. But if this turns out to be a trick, I am going to... With a melon! Oh. <clears throat> you may begin now. I am here. Uh, thank you for your help. Don't try anything funny. We can still wreck your ship before you can trick us. Well, I know. Computer? No. I can fake screen displays of happy, pliant Earthlings singing the praises of Pyron. How can you do that? Simple. I have hundreds of hours of television drivel. Beauty pageants, sitcoms, talent shows, political conventions, cartoons. I'll add suitable soundtracks, beam them to Terramon's ship, and you'll never know as long as you cooperate. Uh, I smell a trick. No, you just have to act like good hosts. Let Terramon see how much you all love your kind and generous master, Pyron. Then Terramon will go away and you can go back to killing each other. And if we don't? Believe me, it'll be much worse. My brother has no sense of humor, but he does have the right to interfere. It's a family thing. He's telling the truth. our best shot, but remember, no monkey business. You have my word. Jeremon, my brother, welcome to my humble ship. Thank you, Pyron. I'm sure you're doing your best. Oh, I am. While I'm here, I should evaluate your progress. If you've done well... Oh, I have. You shall have your little planet. But if you failed... Well, we can talk about that later. Let's see this little celebration you've planned for me. Did you get a look at the tapes of my accomplishments? Very impressive. My computer is analyzing them now. My, this is impressive. These are my servants, the Dark Stalkers. They'll tell you of my accomplishments. Terraman doesn't look that tough. No. Imagine having the Terminator for an older brother. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Pyron. Hip hip. Hooray! hooray. One hooray? I don't trust them farther than that. What are you drinking? Hmm. You don't want to know. Oh, he creeps me out. On this we agree. You are curiously attractive for a fish man. So I've been told. Excuse me, will you pass the salad? Uh, excuse me, uh, if you please. Oh, sorry. The salad, please. <laughs> What do you mean, no ice cream? I want ice cream! Hey! <laughs> they usually work alone, you see. 
I fully understand. Tell me about the other inhabitants of this planet who so adore you. The humus, is it? Humans, yes. Would you like to meet one? Harry! Please, behave yourself. This is Harry Grimori, a particularly bright young chap. Harry, this is my older brother, Teramon. Hi. Hello, Harry. So, a human, how nice. And there are three billion of them. So? <clears throat> Quite succulent. They should make a dandy food supply. <sighs> no time like the present. You can't eat him. He's mine. Yeah! Works for me. Listen, Bozo. Anyone who tries to eat my friends has to answer to me. <laughs> An awful always disgust. Oh, you are, dear. You are. Do something. You're losing them. Actually, I agree with them. Teramon, I've worked for 4,000 years to shape this world, and it may not be perfect, but it's mine. And I won't have it turned into a feeding trough. <laughs> Yeah! I'll decide what happens to the humans, not you! Way to go, Pyron! <laughs> you think that's funny? Try this! Computer. Uh, boss? A noble gesture of brilliance. Boy, he was really steamed. I'm glad he's gone. If I know my brother, we haven't heard the last of this. You are a disgrace, Pyron! You have one hour to vacate the premises! The Earth is under new management! Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. The Earth is under new management! Quite an arm you got there. You want to wrestle sometime? I could have just turned it off. My brother is going to kill me. Your brother was going to eat me. Ah, he's impressive. I'll give him that. But between his ego and Dimitri's, this wee planet would just fall apart. He's got to go. Do you have any idea how powerful his ship is? He could vaporize a planet. This planet! We can't attack him. Maybe not from the outside. Harry's right. The only way to attack him is from inside his own ship. Still, it won't be easy. But if all of us do it? Felicia, John, Rico, Bigfoot, Dimitri, Morgan, Retta, Anna Garris. Uh, Anna Garris is on location in La La Land. Don't think you can keep me out of this. Harry, it's too dangerous. Pussycat's right. You're just a kid. But you need me! I'm small enough to go places the rest of you can. I know computers and... Whoa. And I know magic. Ugh. Well, some magic. Harry is right. It is his planet. He should be allowed to fight for it. And I shall go. I can't protect you over there. Protect me? I am Pyron. It's Taraman who will need protecting when I get a hold of him. Macho man. We need all the help we can get. This is Teramon's ship. It is two miles long and has 80 decks. I've pinpointed the bridge, the command center, and the radio room. Anakaris stays, but I'll beam the rest of you over in twos. Good luck. Let's do it. Well, you live on these things. Which way? This way, I think. No! Raptor, use your guitar! Raptor! Now, where was that radio room? Intruder alert! 
Need intruder alert! My idiot brother! Pyron! <laughs> I think we lost them. I think they got us right where they want us. Oh, 99. We should be almost to the bridge. You have a plan, right? Tell me you have a plan, Harry. I have an idea. If we can just get to the computer without being spotted. Intruders on the bridge service catwalk, instituting countermeasures. Spoil sport. Felicia? Felicia! Where are they? I've lost contact with them. I tire of this! Bring them in! All of them now! <laughs> oh, time to rock and roll! Let me go first. All clear. Most unsporting. So, you are Van Gerdenheim, the electric golem. We shall see how electric you are. They are no match for me. Computer! Yes, I... Getting interference. What by the many moons of Mangalore is that? Looks like it's up to me. than we are. Here goes nothing. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. North America, South America, and all the ships in space. Flash, Lord Raptor is on the air! <laughs> Go away! We're having a party! Oh! You regret this. You live for my lawyer and my agent. Oh, thanks, mate. So, this sorry mess was supposed to frighten me, to stop me. You were beaten from the start. Felicia! Now what? Give me one minute, then I'll need a diversion. A diversion, he says. And though you will have menial jobs in my administration, you will come to love me, to grovel each day and kiss my feet, to- Hey, Bozo! Were you always such a blowhard, or did you pick that up from Dimitri? <laughs> yeah, kitty, kitty. Shh. 
Ready to rumble? Ready to teach my brother a lesson. Here goes nothing. Now! Oh. Oh. Little brother. Mom always liked you best! Did not! Did too! Did not! Did too! This had better work. Ooh. What? I hope so. Look! What happened? I upped the power and beamed Anakiris into the field coil of your brother's ship. I figured that he'd short circuit it and it'd go somewhere. You know Anakiris. But where? We may never know. Where have you brought us, you lunatic? All things come to those who wait. <laughs> but it's a horse of another feather. Pyron's behind this! This isn't funny, Pyron! Come out! Show yourself! Saved us all, Harry. You are a worthy adversary. Then the war is over? No, just a truce. Tomorrow, back to world conquest. Back to thwarting your evil designs? Yes, but tonight, sleep well, Harry Grimore, and thanks again. Look on the bright side. Terramon and his minions are gone. And I'm rid of that ridiculous Anacharis. Yes, things are looking up. Uh-oh. Darkstalkers 